Hey guys, welcome back to the Roman Roads YouTube channel. This is another medley. So what's going on with Hawaii? Hi Roman. Hi. Uh, hi Rhodes. Shall tell you now. Basically, and a uh, Hawaiian name, so I'm gonna have to check my notes. Okay. The in the Le Leilani Estates in mm -hmm. Hawaii, there have been two new eruptions at the Kilauea volcano. Okay. And that's created three lava flows that they they really you can't really predict which direction they're gonna go, but one of them has come within 200 yards of a geothermal power plant. I thought I heard about this in the news. So isn't there like some, they evacuated something or they're kind of they're afraid evacuating. that something's going to happen? They are. Well, the evacuations have started since the a volcano eruptions had begun. Okay. Because like I said, these uh, flows are really dangerous. And on top of it, there have been a lot of gas releases already from the volcano itself. Yeah. Well, these geothermal power plants, they're, they are powered by the heat of the, you know, volcano beneath them and the, all that stuff, but they store a special gas called hydrogen sulfide. That chemical is toxic and I'm assuming it's flammable. flammable. Yes. Big explosions. And they keep it in three wells. Okay. That um, they are full of this chemical, right? Well, they drained as much as they could and they've actually done a pretty good job of can uh, how did I phrase it canceling them out or whatever they put cold water in it basically okay just so like to prevent they, any exactly at least sealed any, them yeah. up okay however the third one is resisted treatment which I take to mean they couldn't pull out enough of the chemicals okay. or add enough cold water to cancel it out and there's the risk that even though it, there is a protective cement barrier around it, the lava could the, probably or, burn through it. Could it. Burn through it, but also the whenever the lava builds because mm -hmm. it's so dense, it could actually mound up. And some of them have gone up to 20 feet high, so that's enough oh, to wow. cause a ramp effect. It could go over and get into it if it did. The weight didn't just crash the whole thing down or so burn through it. So we're saying there's no stopping this lava, and you no. know. The so the ch what are the chances of? The lava reaching this or like getting to the plant and like well, actually causing some destruction it's rogue they haven't calculated it because i don't know how you would calculate that it's like with the it's good enough that it's a threat but uh i had also heard from a very reliable source uh -huh. super super great guy friend of the show you know mike you know mike. and uh he said that they actually had been planning to shut down this plant anyway and they oh, okay. but they didn't want to they're like we don't really need it anymore but we're gonna maybe a lot of difficulties or a lot yeah. of complications and going just, through the whole process. They just don't want to do it. It's hard. Chill. It's Hawaii. Yeah. There's other things to do. Literally, <laughs> just not doing anything is great. BTW, this isn't sweat. I wet my hair first. So, man, do you know what I was thinking? Man, I would love to go to Hawaii, get some of that Hawaiian shaved ice, have a little vacation. But now it sounds dangerous over there. Don't be a punk. Man, we live next to Mexico. This is Texas. That we did a whole true. thing about how dangerous our state is. We're fine. Yeah. Do you want to live forever, man? No. That's morbid. Jesus Christ. Anyway. I would like to meet him one day. There you go. Well, how do you, what do you know if you just stay in one place? You expect him to come to you? That's selfish, sir. <laughs> go out and search for the truth and the answers. Anyway. Get it back to Hawaii. It sucks right there. Yeah. Um, they haven't. I really feel like the government's not panicking as are showing how dangerous it really is. Because obviously, just, what do you do? Yeah, with other places, yeah. you could just keep moving away from it. But Hawaii, and it's happening on the the big island, the ma the main one. And I think it's on the north side, mm -hmm. but it's still it's a small island, and you can't really there's evacuate. only so much room yeah. to go. To move there's only so much room to go, and it's really difficult to evacuate people because it's way out there in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, specifically, and what do you do? Like, I'm sure they're sending out, you know, boats and people are trying to get off the island. Well, I know I've seen a whole bunch resources. of people of like, you know, people at a golf resort or something and they're just like hanging out and there's pictures right. of them playing golf and in the background you see the, As the ashes from the, uh, yeah, the ashes from the uh, volcano and stuff. So, I mean, I know, you know, here in Texas, there's a whole, we do get hurricanes during hurricane season. There's some people who are kind of stubborn and want to stay Oh, yeah, they're that, they're, Florida is worse about that. Yeah. No, we're just going to stay. We've been safe before. And, and they don't take that it. as like, all right, that just means your odds of dying from it are increasing. Not that you're more likely to survive. So do you think there's maybe some population that are kind of like, oh, we'll For be okay? For sure, man. I think some people are, some people truly believe that they're, because they've been fine before, that they'll be fine today. And some people, they just can't handle like, this, this is like happening. It's terrible. Some people just can't do well in panic. Uh, what do they call this? It's not panic situations. Uh, danger nodes, scary times. Now, have have they reported any fatalities? Chaos. Fatalities from the volcano yet? 
Oh, uh, yes, I believe they have, but you didn't ask me this question before we got recording. Okay, so, so we don't, I don't have know. a number. I think, yeah, I think there was a few people who they uh, their cars were hit or they sort of got trapped mm-hmm. in, but I don't remember. Also, the fact that they haven't shown this in like every report, how many people already died, mm-hmm. really shows how they're trying to like, let's, we need to get the news out, but we don't want to panic people. That's right, panic. Panic, yeah. Well, I mean, I'd be panicking too. I mean, I don't want to want to... I mean, if I was in that situation over there on the islands, I think I'd want to try to get get out as fast as I could. But, I mean, if people were saying, well, you know, let's just see how things go or whatever. What but how, how bad do you think it's going to get in the next few... Or, like, within the next week, is there a certain time period that you think that, you know, like, it could get extremely worse? Like, to the... Uh, the thing is, because, like I said, they're not releasing this kind of information, which makes me think that they are playing it down. They haven't said... We think it'll, you know, stop within this amount of time or another. But it could also be that we don't really have good technology when it comes to varying, or was it like geothermal weather? I don't uh-huh. know you'd, what you'd call it. We're good at predicting rain, tornadoes, hurricanes, but things like earthquakes, landslides, and, you know, volcanoes especially, not as good. Sometimes you hear a small eruption and they think it's like, oh, probably nothing They don't happen. know how much damage or, you know, how big it's going to be, basically. Not necessarily. Not just that. They just don't know if it's going to happen at all. Oh, really? There's okay. been times where it hap- they didn't take the warning signs seriously because they don't know. Basically, we don't know how to read the warning signs. Okay. We're seeing things happening and we're learning as we go. I guess take it by your gut and, you know, pray. If they say move, move. That is one thing. Be I heard. very cautious. Move, guess, always yeah. be ready to move. Yeah. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, bug out bag? Mm-hmm. With a bag with like backup copies of all your important documentation, a little bit of extra money, uh, a good amount of water, yeah. and like preservable food. foods. Preservable foods. Yeah. Probably not cans. I'd go for like something bagged and nasty tasting because, you know, it lasts longer and it's not as heavy. Yeah. That's the reason why. Yeah, that's why the military uses that. The MREs. Yeah. Emergency meals ready to eat. Yeah, something like that. Emergency ready to eat meal. Emergency ready to eat. Oh, wait. Meal. Meals. M R, meals ready to eat. Meals ready eat. There's no T in there. I didn't say there was. It's an M R E. So meals ready eat. Okay. Readily eatable. Readily available. Is it, does that? Do you think that's it? Available meals starts re- with an A. Huh? Available starts with an A. What's stupid? That's stupid. Stupid. Let it's us know available. what you. Let us know what you think about what's going on. Uh, in Hawaii, and if you have any other information that you want to share, comments below. Is there anything else that we want to talk about? In this topic, um, no, like I said, I was surprised at how short the articles were mm-hmm. when I was researching this. And each one only had little bits of information, even on the same uh, website. Like normally whenever there's a da- disaster coverage, you'll see a lot of information re- repeated and this one it did not it just feels kind of different well i'm sure when the next few days next few weeks we'll like, hear about i really hope things work out yeah uh quick note you want swag like this fortune being in lytle it's a mug <laughs>